Hi there, Cosmo family. My name is Eliad in this incarnation, and today I wanted to leave a message that is linked with the transit in the sky, but as always, this goes beyond that. And I wanted to say to you that with this Mercury retrograde that I, I told you yesterday, we are in this moment of processing and, and slowing down. This is like an energetic pause. And as a recommendation, I don't like to tell anyone what to do, and regardless uh, what each other has to do with their own life, um, I think this is a good moment to, to recharge ourselves with energy for what is coming, because 2024 is going to be a very, very, very moved year from uh, practically its uh, beginnings. So... Um, As always, this is not to approach this energy with fear. Uh, on the contrary, this is to reconnect with the empowerment of the souls. But um, uh, it's going to be a very good year, so uh, it's important to, to rest right now and to recharge. So, something that I didn't mention uh, in, other, in other videos is that squares between the Sun and, and Neptune or between Mars and Neptune could bring as a possibility, and we are feeling this this week, and, the, and at the end of the next week, we are going to start to feel the square between Mars and Neptune. This could bring uh, as a possibility an effect of low energy. But uh, if that happens, it's probably because our energy is dissolving in uh, distractions that are not collaborating with ourselves or in actions could, could be a, a mental dynamic or an action itself that is causing um, energetic draining. So we have to think in Neptune in Pisces as water and if there's no channel to redirect this water uh, it is going to be overflowing and it is going to be lost. So These transits could, could bring uh, a lot of inspiration, creativity, of reconnection with ourselves, meditation. Um, but also it has this other spectrum that is more linked with melancholy or sadness. So without judging what we are feeling, I think it's important to let the waves come and go, to not be attached to the waves. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that doing this register of our energy during these transits, because our energy is more tangible, uh, this is a guide for the rest of the process. Something that I explained many times is that the soul is manifesting in our body. So through that corporeal wisdom, the soul is showing us that mental dynamic that is not helping or that action that actually is wearing us out because it's not aligned with our purpose. And with the permanent entrances of energy that are constant, we are going to feel more and more every time that we are saying yes to something that is not aligned to ourselves. Maybe uh, feeling dizzy or stunned, this could bring a symptom. Or, uh, for example, vice versa, when uh, ego is resisting, to uh, take a, an action that is very important to move forward. And there we could feel very sleepy, tired, like literally, like, like our light is, is turning off. So it's important that each one can do their own recognition of uh, the sensations in the body uh, that goes beyond the, the symptoms, you know, because when we are feeling pain, then we are, uh, we are forced to pay attention to that part. Uh, but we can feel our body in very subtle ways and, and the body has their own technologies. So the more we connect with this, the more we connect with our own sensations, the more indicators of certainty we have to the rest of the process. So I just wanted to leave this reflection today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.